Hey, and welcome back. This is our two re year review of the Sunny Couch Room article. You may have seen our previous unboxing video that we did just after we moved into this house that we just bought. Um, we are renovating this house and we've done a ton of work to it. So if you need any inspiration for modernizing your mid-century house, follow along as we figure this all out. But here is the Sunny article couch. Here are a few things that we absolutely love about this couch and a couple things that we don't really love about the couch. Adorable Oreo giving us a perfect example of how this couch really goes with any color. It goes with black or white or brown or gray or tan. It's got all of these um, colors weaved into it, white, black, uh, gray, brown, so it really does look good with all of your furniture. I also like this couch because it's pretty easy to hide stains. Um, I made a mistake and I used the Bissell wet vacuum to try to get a coffee stain out and it kind of made the whole area see like bright white for some reason so just follow the directions it says to pat out any stains um, with just like a microfiber towel I think is what the directions say so just follow the directions don't try to use a wet vac on this one because it will cause a problem <laughs> as I have learned I really love the mid-century style that this has with the tapered walnut legs on the bottom and we do get a lot of compliments on the look of this couch. Cushions are a positive and a negative because they have stood the test of time. They're still pretty plush but I did see a lot of people complain about this center cushion and how it kind of is too small for the couch and separates. The pilling on this couch, those little fuzz balls that pop up, were what happened almost immediately after we bought this couch. So this is um, after, uh, I think this was one year after we bought this couch. So this was a year ago that I took this video. And you can see all of the pilling. I have tried to use like those little um, cutters, like the electric cutters and things, and they really just don't help with the pilling. So if you're gonna buy this couch, just be prepared for that. And because of the loose weave of the fabric, there is pulling. You might be able to see a couple of examples of the pulling of the fabric into like little loops and you can't really do anything about them. This is an example of what my cat did when she walked on the back of the couch and she gets her nails trimmed often. So she walks on it and her nails catch and it pulls this fabric out. So that is a big complaint about this couch. And it's not just her nails that catch it. I have sat down in a pair of jeans and the jeans catch the fabric and pull these little loops out. And, and the absolute worst thing about this couch, the reason we would not buy it again is because of the height of the cushions. They're only 16 inches and once you sit on them, they compress a little bit so it's even shorter. And every single person who sits on it complains about their knees hurting when they sit on this couch. So, knowing what we know now, we would not buy this couch again. We would not have spent $2,000 on this couch because of how uncomfortable it is and low to the ground it is. We would have picked a different couch that was higher up. Um, but the choice is yours. Let me know if I missed anything and uh, what your thoughts are in the comments below.